Let's let's go through a small relation. What is equivalence relation? A relation is said to be equivalence if R follows reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Then it is called as an equivalence relation. Okay. Let's go further into principle of inclusion and exclusion principles, which is one of the main topic in this whole chapter. So it I have already covered this topic in the first chapter, and we are just revising it once here. So it basically consists of sets. I have just covered sets already in the first chapter. So it is a counting technique which generalizes the familiar familiar method of obtaining the number of elements in the union of two or three sets. Okay, guys. Here you can directly use the formula, or you can use the theoretical proof or the Venn diagrammatic proof. It's all up to you. If you are good at memorizing the formulas, then you can form remember the formula. Those are also really simple, guys. There is nothing much. For A union B, you will be adding the individualities, and intersection will be neg neg individ neg neg, and you will be subtracting the intersection. Whenever it comes to union, you will be adding the individualities, subtracting the double in double integration, and adding the triple integration. That's it. That's you know, there is nothing much to verify or something like that. So here there is a complete question. I have wrote complete question. So the question was like this: Total faculty members are two hundred members. Two hundred members that can speak French. Two hundred members can speak French. Fifty members can speak Russia. Hundred members can speak Spanish. Twenty can speak French and Russia. Sixty can speak French and Spanish. Thirty-five can speak Russia and Spain. While ten can speak all the three languages. How many can speak at least one language? Means the question was that A union B union C was the question. So let us take three variables so that it will be a bit clear for that. So F R S. So the question is that F union R union S is the question. We need to find that. So F is equals to two hundred. R is equals to fifty. S is equals to hundred. F intersection R is it twenty? F intersection S is sixty. R intersection S is thirty five. F intersection R intersection S is ten. So we need to find R union F union S. So drawing the Venn diagram for this four, or you can directly substitute it in formula. You will be adding two hundred plus fifty plus hundred, which is three fifty minus sixty thirty five twenty. You'll be subtracting those three. Means sixty plus twenty, that is eighty, ninety, hundred, one one five. You'll be subtracting one one five. Let me subtract it. Just a second. Five. Okay, just a small mistake. Okay, twenty four minus eleven. That is equals to thirteen. That is one thirty five. Sorry, two thirty-five. Just a small mistake. Two thirty-five. So adding up ten. Two thirty-five plus ten, four thirty-five. That is what I got here. So, if you are good at applying the formulas, that's the best way to find these kind of problems. So I hope most of you will be applying the formulas. If there, if you want to apply the Venn diagram, go to the first chapter video and you can learn it from there. Okay, I'll be revising once again here. So, once you draw the Venn diagram of three circles, just come from the bottom. So. Intersection three intersection is ten, so f intersection r f intersection r is twenty. So subtracting this ten, so the left out is ten. That's fine. So f intersection s f intersection s it is already occupied by ten. So sixty minus ten that is fifty. You'll be inserting it right here. Next r intersection s for these two thirty five already ten is occupied. So left out is twenty five. You'll be inserting it. F is equals to two hundred already is fifty ten ten is occupied. That is seventy. Two hundred minus seventy is one thirty. So we'll be writing one thirty there. So R, R he gave fifty, but twenty five ten ten, which is forty five already occupied. So five is left. So we'll be writing five here. Next S, S is equals to hundred. So fifteen. Okay, already occupied fifty ten twenty five. So the left out is fifteen. So now I think you are clear with that. So by adding all these values, one thirty plus ten plus ten plus fifty plus five plus twenty five plus fifteen is two forty five. 
this by using this you can count the number of students you can e even if the question is any typical question you can just solve it using this one diagram okay i hope everyone understood about this thank you thanks for watching guys